I'm QQ. Hi, I'm Aaron. And we are the Yaya Kids Junior Journalists. We are here at the Steam Carnival. We are about to interview some really interesting people. So come with us. Let's go. Eric, may you please tell us about the Steam Carnival? Of course. So you're here at our event called the Steam Carnival. And Steam sounds, stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. And that's what we've tried to show off here. So STEAM and STEM, two different things. Why do you think a STEAM carnival is better than a STEM carnival? That's a great question. So I used to be a STEM guy. I used to make robots. And I made robots until making robots wasn't fun anymore. And then I discovered art. And with art, I discovered that I loved engineering again. I liked making beautiful, fun things. And we want to share that with everybody else. We think that engineering isn't boring. Engineering is so cool. Engineering is so fun. And the thing that makes it fun is creativity. And that's the art. Thank you, Eric. My pleasure. What is your vision for Steam Carnival from five years from now? Five years from now. OK. So we're taking the show on the road, my friend. You're going to see Steam Carnivals in 50 cities all across the nation and all across the world. We want to share this kind of fun with everybody, no matter where they live. Hi, Eric. Can you tell me about this cool robot? Yeah, sure. Well, this is Team 4276 of the uh, first robotics competition. Uh, the students here are from Marina High School in Huntington Beach, California. And so these students actually build a robot every year, starting in January, and they end up building the robot over the course of about six weeks. So I teach them how to do CAD drawings. I teach them how to do wiring for uh, you know electrical wiring. I teach them how to program. You need uh, things called microcontrollers that will tell the robot what to do. You need uh, speed controllers and special types of motors. Um, all those things you kind of put together into one robot, and that's what makes all these mechanisms work the same way. Uh, I want to become a scientist when I grow up. Can you give me some advice on how to do that? I can. Study really, really hard. Learn everything that you possibly can about math and science in school and in clubs and anywhere you can, like Seed Carnival. Last question. Okay. If there was a scene carnival when you were a kid, would there be in any difference when in your life? Oh, my goodness, yes. You know, back in the dark ages when dinosaurs roamed, we didn't have computers. They hadn't Ooh. been invented yet. Wow. There was no internet. Really? Really? Well, Honestly. Wow, lots of people use computers nowadays. They do. <laughs>